Hello and hi, welcome to Electrical Stuff. This is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in building sector. Test your skills. So our quiz number 06. Without further delay, we start our quiz number 06. Before starting our quiz session, I would like to request you to do like, share and subscribe to our Electrical Stuff channel. Your like and share and subscription, it will reach to the wider range of people. So knowledge is divine. So share knowledge so that your knowledge will be increased. So without further delay, let's start our quiz session. So let's start with first question. First question, if your conduit length is straight length, so how much distance you need to provide a drawing boxes. Answers are 10 meter, 5 meter, 20 meter, 15 meter. Second question. So the second question is your conduit is a 90 degrees bends. So how many 90 degrees bends you need to provide it a circular junction box. So your answers are 2, 3, 4, 1. So select your answer. So question number 3. Question number three is that different section of trunking shall be bonded by copper links. Although trunking shell, so the condition is, this is the condition. So can be used as a earth, earth uh, uh, continuity conductor or not to use it as a earth continuity conductor. So your answer is, select your answer. Question number four. So if there is a common trunking like a low current and uh, power trunking uh, it's running in the one trunking so with a different voltages the trunking shall be provided with a separate compartment for the different type of circuits so your answers are true or false so this statement is true or false select your answer so question number five it is relevant to the conduit so internal radius of any bend or elbow fitting in a conduit shall be dash times of the diameter of the conduit. So bending radius, it's basically asking about the bending, bending radius. So 1.5 times of the diameter of the conduit or 2.0, 2.5 or 3 meters. So select your answer. Questions are a little bit tricky. So think wisely and answer well. I hope you are doing well. So by the way, these all questions are covered in Diva chapter 6. The question number 6. Circuit wires bunched and installed in all vertical trunking runs shall be clamped or secured within the trunking at regular intervals, not exceeding dash meters and at the terminal ends. So basically when you are putting all the wires in the trunking, you need to bunch those wires or clamp those wires. So what is the distance between the clamps? That is the question. So select your answers. The answers are 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. Select your answer. So next question number 7. So this question is true or false. So flush type switches, sockets and accessories shall be used for concealed wiring. So when you have a concealed wiring, you only need to use the flush type switches. This is the question. Whether this statement is true or false. So select your answer. Tricky. Yes, it's tricky. So next question number eight. The conduit runs which are concealed within the building structure such as in floor or wall or roof column etc. What is the minimum screed requirement? So this is basically relevant to DIVA, not the ADDC. ADDC has a different regulation. So DIVA for this is the question. So what is your answer? So screed required 50, 30, 20, 10. Select your answer. So question number nine. Dash conduit shall not be used under floor tiles of a building in concealed wiring system embedded in walls or floors. So with this uh, one type of conduit is there, you cannot use it in the embedded. So what type of conduit? That PVC conduit, steel conduit, galvanized steel conduit, D, B and C, 
E, A and B. So which type of shell conduit shall not be used for the concealer embedded wall or flows? So select your answer. Question number 10. Question number 10 is cable tray shall not be used in locations where they'll be subjected to severe physical damages. This statement is true or false. So select your answer. That's the questions. So these answers will be posted on description section by tomorrow. So uh, I hope you answer all the questions are very well. So thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Electrical Stuff channel. So thank you. Good day. Keep support.